Your doctor has recommended the removal of your gallbladder, but what does that actually mean? The gallbladder is a small organ located below the liver. Its function is to store bile used by the intestines to digest food. Gallstones, small calcified deposits, sometimes form and block the bile ducts, which lead from the gallbladder to the intestines. In many cases, the problem becomes so severe that the only effective treatment is to remove the entire gallbladder. This is the most common reason for gallbladder surgery. Other reasons for removing the gallbladder include chronic or severe infection or the growth of a tumor. In the case of gallbladder removal, there are no real alternatives to surgery. Leaving gallstones untreated will lead to discomfort at minimum. And allowing a gallbladder infection or tumor to progress unchecked can put your life at risk. Because of these risks, it's rare these days for a physician to recommend any treatment other than the surgical removal of the gallbladder. Surgical procedures performed by making an incision large enough to expose the entire operative area are called open procedures. Your doctor believes that your medical condition and overall state of health make you a good candidate for a less intrusive laparoscopic surgery. A laparoscope is a narrow tube that contains a light source and a small video camera. Using a laparoscope, the surgeon is able to operate by making one or more very small incisions through which the sterile laparoscope and possibly other instruments are inserted into the body. Using the laparoscope's video camera, the surgeon is able to explore and inspect the interior of the abdomen, often allowing the surgeon to see with greater detail and with more clarity than with the human eye alone. However, it is important to understand that during the procedure, your surgical team is always prepared to convert a laparoscopic procedure to an open procedure, should they feel that your condition requires a more direct approach. If the surgical team makes this decision, you will find upon waking up that your doctor has made a larger incision and that healing may proceed more slowly. Converting to an open procedure will affect the length of your recovery and will probably require hospitalization. Of course, no surgery is completely risk-free, but your physician believes that if you decide not to undergo the recommended procedure, you may be putting your health at risk. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth, and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table. In the operating room, the anesthesiologist will begin to administer anesthesia, most probably general anesthesia. The surgeon will then apply antiseptic solution to the skin around the area where the incisions will be made. Place a sterile drape around the operative site. After allowing a few minutes for the anesthetic to take effect, a small incision is made above the umbilicus. Then a hollow needle will be inserted through the abdominal wall and the abdomen will be inflated with carbon dioxide. An umbilical port is created for the laparoscope. Three more incisions will be made with care taken to keep the openings as small as possible. Once in place, the laparoscope will provide video images that allow the surgeon to locate and pull back both the liver and gallbladder. Next, the surgeon removes the connecting tissue in order to expose the cystic duct and cystic artery. Using clips, the surgical team clamps off both the duct and the artery, which are later cut to prepare the gallbladder for removal. Finally, any remaining tissue connecting the gallbladder to the liver is cut. The gallbladder is moved into the laparoscopic working port where it is taken out of the body.
All of the instruments are withdrawn, the carbon dioxide is allowed to escape, the muscle layers and other tissues are sewn together, and the skin is closed with sutures or staples. Finally, sterile dressings are applied. Most patients experience at least some pain following surgery, but if properly handled, it shouldn't present any serious problems. Pain used to be regarded as an unavoidable side effect of surgery, but today, pain can be managed with great effectiveness. And as the patient, you have an important role to play. Before surgery, be sure to ask the medical staff about the type and duration of pain normally associated with your surgery. Find out in advance about your pain management options. Work with the staff to develop a pain management plan. Discuss your options. There are alternatives to drugs that can lessen your need for pain medication. Ask your doctor for help in finding a pain management class. Many of these workshops teach helpful relaxation techniques, positive thinking, and nerve stimulation exercises. Following surgery, make sure to let your nurse know right away how you're feeling and whether or not you are in any pain. Be specific and help them to measure your discomfort. If you're having trouble expressing yourself, try to rank what you're feeling on a scale from one to 10. Never be shy about asking for help. If you experience pain that just won't go away, report it to the nurse. Pain is an important indicator that helps you and your medical staff understand your body's healing process. Gallbladder surgery only rarely leads to complications. The first is a persistent residual neuralgia, or pain, around the scar. It can be either localized or general. It may develop soon after surgery, or even weeks or months later. Usually it will decrease in intensity with time, but in very rare situations, it can become permanent. More frequently, patients report achiness in the shoulders and chest. This is caused by the body's reaction to the carbon dioxide used to inflate the abdomen, and it will clear up in a matter of a few days. A more serious complication comes from accidentally damaging the bile duct, but these are very rare occurrences. Finally, as mentioned earlier, the surgical team may decide to end the laparoscopic procedure and convert to an open surgery.